I think I'm probably the last person on earth to get one of these. I'm kind of ashamed, but kind of not. It is what it is, such is life. <laughs> Welcome to another video. If stationary puts a smile on your face, guess what? You're in the perfect place. So today I wanted to share something that I've been, been thinking of for a very long time and that is getting my first set of mini slash pocket fountain pens. Now on every single fountain pen site, you go into the menu, you dig under there for mini or pocket pens, you're bound to see a Kaweco, you're bound to see, yeah, mostly Kawekos, probably a Monteverde, mostly Kawekos, right? Am I right? Am I right? Yes. And I have waited for a long time to get mine, couldn't wait any longer. And today I want to share with you the very first Kaweco in my collection, definitely not the last, because I love them. And another special guest, another mini slash pocket pen that I have not seen much of online yet. But I managed to grab one this year. First and foremost, the Kaweco. It is tied to my handy dandy trusty A6 two journals inside of my amazing lovely favorite child <laughs> speckled phones cover it really is my favorite but neither here nor there here is my first kaweko don't mind the ink on my hands or is that nail polish i don't know so my very first kaweko is as you can see the white one i love this thing I've, I've had my eye on it for the, the very longest time. Got the clip separately from the pen. This pen took a lot of effort, a lot of trial and error and tribulation to get to me. But it is here. I won't go into the details. <laughs> but she's here safely and sound. And I've had it for just about a month. Just about. And I'm in love. It's the broad... Kaweco Classic Sports. I love the gold nibs in the Kaweco pans, so I definitely had to go with this one. I love the combination of a gold nib and a light pastelish color. I wish they would come out with more colors with the gold nib, but it is what it is. Somebody please drop a word to our friends at Kaweco and let them know, please, that it would be nice to get that and then i got the, the i think this is like the original clip or the plain one because they're more fancy ones i just got this what i love about this pen so far a couple of things how it writes i have been hearing a lot of rumors that the broad nibs have something called baby's bottom never experienced it here never it wrote from the minute i put in the cartridge that it comes with smoothly effortlessly glides on the page no feedback i'm not even joking i know people have problems sometimes with these but i loved it it still writes beautifully the broad is every every bit of broad i want a double broad next but i love this one and like i said i love the combination of white and gold it's classic it's classy you just can't go wrong I also love that I could clip this onto my clothes. I go to the grocery with this little thing clipped onto my top or my dress. No joke. It stays put. I, I know it's with me. I just love it. I'm not worried about anybody stealing this because <laughs> nobody really uses fountain pens. It's not a huge deal where I'm from. You more see like, you know, CEOs, bank executives using them and they they're mostly men, so they're using much more executive-ish looking pens than this. Nobody's sticking this from me. She's a beauty. I'll show you how it writes. Right now, it's inked with the blue cartridge it came with, just because 
I want to empty it out and then reuse it. I've heard that the converter is terrible in terms of how much it can hold. So I am going to wait patiently to empty this out. I've been working with it, as in using it for work, so that I could use up a lot of the ink. So I'm a copywriter and junior community manager at work. So of course copywriting, I write a lot of marketing material each and every day and um, that helps me use up my inks very very well so say hello to my very first Kaweco up next she's on the hair making her debut we have my Wankai Mini by Mark John or I believe it's Nima now now I know everybody knows of the blue swirly one that they make and the other colors and maybe the transparent one I was kind of like no everybody has that I don't want it so I was looking for the pink marble which I couldn't find I was looking for the pink swirl which I also couldn't find but I didn't want to give up just yet and buy the blue or the kind of yeah the kind of sky blue kind of swirl I didn't want to give up yet and buy that one so I was hunting, 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 and I found this on Amazon. This one has a pearlescent white finish, and the swirls in this one are light blue, pinkish red, and a summery kind of green, greenish yellow. I love this. It looks really, really simple, but at the same time, classic. I love how small it is. I won't lie, it's smaller than I thought it was. It's smaller than it looks online. Having it in my hand was a bit of a shock as I'm like, it looks a little bit fatter online. But still in love, it caps, caps at the end just like the others. Screw on. It takes, whoa, about six turns. And like with my Kaweco, I'm using the cartridges it came with um, because I was excited to see how fast it would start writing. And no joke, as soon as you pop in the cartridge, I'm not exaggerating, as soon as it starts to write smoothly. Like I said, I love a gold nib, so I'm very happy that most Moonman pens come with a gold nib. This one does, and I love it a bit. This fine is a genuine fine. The Moonman S1 that I have writes slightly like a medium. This is a fine through and through, but I love it. Let's take a look at the two minis side by side together. As you can see, one is the older cousin and one is a little bit short. One is the taller cousin, one is a little bit shorter. <laughs> um, but they're still very much mini pens and I love them. I love these two so much. Let me show you how the Wankai, or is it Wanchai? I don't even know how it writes. Checking in from the editing room, I've since changed the nib on this pen to a medium nib, but it's not the same brand, but I am even more in love with the pen. The reason you might see it skipping here is because the cartridge is actually on its last leg, it's almost done, and it still writes flawlessly. I'm very happy with the writing experience as well as the pen itself. Super cute. The only sad thing is this pen rolls. There's not, nothing stopping it. There's no clip. I was actually told this clip could fit on this fake news it does not you would have to extend this so much to make it fit and I was not about to ruin a clip I go to the gym about three four times a week and I've been getting increasingly stronger I will ruin this if I try to pull it apart so I was like don't don't tamper with it it's not made for this don't even try despite hearing that people have done it. I was like, no thanks. So she rolls for now. But what I do is I put this in a notebook that comes with a pen, pen holder, pen clip thingy. Can't find my words right now, but I put that in 
put this in that so that it stays put somewhere or it simply stays inside of here these two are made with this little section this is a section of my pen case holds these little mini things flawlessly i love it so much most of my pens are on my bed because i've been journaling so i hope you enjoyed seeing the two new additions to the family the two babies they are adorable thankfully they don't grow up i love them small they're so cute and i'm very happy with my first two pocket pens don't forget to tell our friends at Kaweco to give us some more light colors with gold nibs i would greatly appreciate it and that is it for my video i hope you enjoyed i hope it inspires you to maybe pick up a wankai mini pick up another Kaweco we probably have a few in your collection i am new to this but Let's be real, nobody else is. I think I'm the last person on the planet to finally get a Kaweco. And I am kind of ashamed, but kind of not. Such is life. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Next video, I'm not sure what we'll be doing, but I will send you a little notice in my community tab when our new stuff is gonna be unveiled whatever that might be planners journals it could be anything and i will see you then bye